In this first video on factoring, we're going to be looking at using the greatest common factor and difference of squares in order to factor polynomials. Factoring is when you take an expression and you split it into multiplication of simpler expressions. The first step in factoring is to identify the GCF or the greatest common factor. When thinking about the greatest common factor, what is the largest coefficient and variable that can be factored out? Another way to think about factoring is dividing. We want to be able to take out numbers that divide into terms evenly. Looking at example 1, 2x plus 6, I want to be able to find what is the largest coefficient, what is the largest number that can divide in both 2x and into 6. The answer to that question is 2, because 2 both divides into 2 and it also divides into 6, and it's the largest number that can do so. So with the greatest common factor of 2, I'm going to take each term and I'm going to factor or divide it out of each one. When I do that, I'm going to be left with x, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. And always make sure that you include your greatest common factor outside your parentheses. Looking at this second example, I want to start the same way I did on the last one, by looking at both numbers. But also, you'll notice that both of them share a common variable of x. So I can also factor out a variable. So when I look at this, my greatest common factor, I'm going to start with 3, because 3 is the largest number that can both divide evenly both into 3 and 6. Then I'm going to look next at the variables. They both have x's, and I'm going to look at my smallest exponent that I can factor out. Since the 3x squared has 2 and the 6x only has x to the first power, the most I can factor out of both terms would be a single x. Since my greatest common factor is 3x, I'm going to divide 3x into both terms above. When you divide variables, you're going to subtract their exponents down. Another way to think of it is I have 3x squared, I'm dividing by 3x. So if I have two x's and I'm taking out one, how many would you be left with? So the first example, I have 3 divided by 3, which is 1. I have x squared, I'm dividing it by x, so I'm taking away an x, which would leave me with 1x. In the second term, 6 divided by 3 is 2. I have 1x, I'm taking away 1x, so I would be left with no x's. Also, always remember to move the GCF to outside your parentheses. In this next example, x cubed plus 2x squared plus x, there's not a number that will divide evenly into all the coefficients. So what I look for next is the variables. I have x cubed, x squared, and x. They all share x, but I can only take out one of each because that is the smallest exponent available. So I will divide each term by x. Same thinking as in the last problem. If I take x cubed and divide it by x, I have three x's and I'm taking away one. So you're left with x squared. In the next example, you have x squared. In the next example, you have 2x squared. You're taking out 1x, so you're left with 2x. And in the last, you have 1x. You're dividing it by x, so you're just left with 1. In this last example, we can take out a coefficient and a variable. My greatest common factor is going to be 2x cubed. I will divide each term by 2x cubed. So as I factor, remember the greatest common factor goes outside my parentheses. So my greatest common factor is 2x cubed. When I divide 2 by 2, I get 1. I have 5x's. I'm taking away 3, so I'm left with x squared. In the second term, 4 divided by 2 is 2. I have 4x's. I'm taking away 3, so I'm left with 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 
I have three X's taking away three, so I'm only left with one. So the final factored answer is 2X cubed times parentheses X squared plus 2X plus 1. If I were to distribute the 2X cubed back inside, I should get back to my original answer. Take a moment to try these on your own. The next way we're going to factor equations is by difference of squares. Notice that's exactly what we're talking about. We're looking at numbers that you can take the square root of and that we're subtracting two of them. The way I do difference of squares is very simple. I'm going to look at the first term and I'm going to take the square root of it. What times itself is going to give me a squared? Well, that's a times a. Then I look at the second term. What times itself is going to give me b squared, which is b times b? To finish factoring it out, you'll take one of the a's and you'll put it in parentheses and add b. Then you take the second two and subtract them. It will follow this form the entire time. a plus b times a minus b. Let's look at this first example. x squared minus 16. We have a binomial because there's two terms and we have the difference because there's subtraction. So let's use our difference of squares technique. x times x will give me x squared and 4 times 4 will give me 16. So to factor it out, I'm going to take x plus 4 in parentheses and multiply it by x minus 4 in parentheses. Let's look at example 2. We have 4x squared minus 36. Now, we talked about earlier, the very first thing you have to do when factoring is take out a greatest common factor. So when we factor out our GCF of 4, we're going to be left with 4 times x squared minus 9. Now inside my parentheses, I have my difference of squares. So I have x times x, 3 times 3. So I will factor that to x plus 3, x minus 3. Remember, always write your greatest common factor in front of the parentheses. Let's look at an example where we can factor out both of them here. 16x squared is 4x times 4x, and 25y squared is 5y times 5y. So when I write it, it still follows suit. 4x plus 5y, 4x minus 5y. So your difference of squares can be either one. Now let me give you a few to work on your own. Remember to factor out the greatest common factor and then to see what multiplies by itself gives me the first term, what multiplied by itself gives me the second term, and then write that as addition and subtraction in your parentheses.